At first glance, it's a beautiful vine. Birds and other animals feed on the fruits. People enjoy them too, not to eat, but for the color they add to the winter landscape or the decorative touch they lend to an autumn wreath. This picture soon turns into a nightmare. The stems are numerous and fast growing, smothering the plants they grow on. In some cases, the weight of the vine is so great it topples or snaps off mature trees. The fruits, colorful and tempting, unwittingly enlist the help of wildlife and humans to help them spread. This is Oriental Bittersweet, a vine native to China, Korea, and Japan that is now found in Minnesota. I go home, I'll be closing my eyes to go to bed, and all I see is bittersweet. Action. <laughs> Three Rivers Park District Natural Resource Management staff and volunteers have been working hard to meet the challenges of invasive species. These can be plants, animals, diseases, and they are all brought over here from other regions. Once they are here, a lot of times they do not have any natural restrictions to what might limit them in their natural areas. There was trees coming down on a trail that we kept getting calls to have removed and it wasn't until kind of a second look at the area where we realized that the trees were falling down because of a vine and it turned out to be oriental bittersweet. We decided now we have to take action um, by controlling and eliminating the seed sources. You have to go in and cut the stems one by one treat them and then after you're done you have to go in clear cut the area so that we can access it for the next years. Oriental bittersweet tends to grow in very low growing shrub areas, so plums, prickly ash, dogwood. This makes these sites very difficult to access. All right, everybody shake the vines that you're at. Oh, look at all that shaking. A majority of our bittersweet sites have all been detected by volunteers as part of our early detection rapid response plan. And so that's why we're doing mapping projects now where we spend time with the crews going through all the wood lots and open areas. This works as an inventory for us to know what might be out there, what might we be missing. We're actively searching for watch list species such as Oriental Bittersweet. We're also getting an inventory of the infestation levels of the common species. Common species, I'm talking about things like common buckthorn, honeysuckle, garlic mustard. These are widely distributed in all, the, in all of our parks. One of the reasons we're concerned about buckthorn is obviously it is, it's everywhere. But it is a species that overtakes the shrub layer, which can deter the native species regen. And so for us, it's nice to know where the problem sites might be or the areas that aren't invaded. So we can keep the uninvaded areas intact and in their natural state. With invasive species management, Three Rivers is really leading the way, working with many state agencies, our surrounding cities, and even communities. We directly influence the entire region and state. That's a huge compliment and sense of pride, but also a great responsibility. It is easy to forget all the amazing things forests do provide food and habitat for wildlife, provide clean water, and remove air pollution. 
Many of America's trees and forests are being destroyed by invasive species. We all play a part in shaping the forest of the future. We hate invasives! invasives.